Welcome back. Today's session will start with releasing the lower spine. Our goal is to do a mat flow, but sometimes we feel a little bit of stiffness in the lower back, which stops us from giving, getting that full benefit of flowing, not in a fast pace, but in a way that you can recruit your abdominal right away. So we're going to use a foam roller to open the lower back so that immediately as you start moving in a flow, you get to feel that benefit right away. Once you've had a chance to try the video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get more video coming every week. Please feel free to share this around with your friends and family and let's get moving. Let's stand with the feet in a parallel position. When we align ourselves, the right muscle contract easily. Place your feet under your pelvis, take a huge inhalation, raise your arms up towards the ceiling, and then as you roll forward, exhale, bend your spine, roll forward as if you're moving away from a wall. And then slowly draw your tail down, pull your abs in and up your spine, and keep your arms by your ears as you reach tall towards the ceiling, arms come down. One more time, deep breath. Open your ribcage, arms by your ears, exhale, nod your chin to your throat, soften your ribs, exhale, bend forward, roll back up, inhale, roll your pelvis over your legs, pull your abs in and up your spine, arms by your ears, and arms down. The easiest way to get on your, your foam roller is to lay down on your back and then lift your pelvis up and draw your foam roller right under your sacrum and pelvis. So we're going to inhale, breathe and open the rib cage so you can lengthen the lumbar spine. Exhale, squeeze your abs. Inhale, open your rib cage and then engage your abs as you exhale. Or engage your abs to exhale. One more time. And then exhale. It takes a few repetitions for you to feel warm in the, the breath and the abs. Inhale, lengthen the right leg away. So just notice that I didn't shift my pelvis to get as long as I can. I kept my pelvis square. And the goal is to lengthen the spine. And exhale. Inhale, stretch the leg away. Usually do this in our fundamental exercise, but now since your pelvis is above your knees and above your lungs, gives you your body space to open. One more time. And then exhale, bend your knee, left side. Inhale, elongate your lumbar spine. Exhale, pull your abs in. Inhale, lengthen your leg away from your spine. Exhale, bring your knee back in. And if you do not have a foam roller, you can use a bolster. I'm going to leave the link below this video so you can watch the one with the bolster if you don't have a foam roller. Two more counts. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale, foot flat. I'm going to make some adjustment. Some people feel pain in their lower back when they use the foam roller. I would say put a ball or a few cushions to support your spine, especially if you have a, you are a high arched person. Of course, you're always pulling your abs in and up to support your back, but sometimes it does feel a little strain there. So put some cushions under your back. All right, so you're going to grab your foam roller, bring your knee towards your chest and then extend your leg up towards the ceiling. So when your hips is, uh, are higher than your lumbar spine, you can recruit your abs easier. We're just gonna do scissors. So the idea is to continue to open the spine so that we can get more abs to contract. Inhale. When the spine is tight, it limits the abdominal contraction. This is the whole goal of getting your spine to open first before you do your flow, so you recruit the right muscles. Last one. It's like you're going to do more abs today. 
and then exhale, bring both legs up, bend your knee towards your chest, and you're going to lower your feet down on the mat. You're going to twist your legs towards the right. Exhale, back center. Inhale, twist your left. Exhale, back center. One more. And then last breath. And then exhale, lower your feet down. Lift your bum. Push the foam roller away from you. Bring your knees towards your chest. And do a little bit of circle, one side. And then other side. We're gonna start right away with the hundreds while your stomach is ready to contract. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, nod your chin to your chest. Stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. Bring your arms by your side. Lift your abs in and up and start your pumping. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, knees bend. Move your neck to the right. Move your neck to the left. And we're going to continue with our flow. Come up to sitting. I would really advise you to invest in a, in a pair of ankle weights. They're very, very handy to find your connection. All right, stretch the legs forward, roll down on your back, arms up towards your ceiling. So you're gonna maintain this beautiful long length of your lumbar spine that you found and your abdominal pull in and up and we're gonna roll up. Exhale, deepen your abs towards your spine, inhale, roll back. Exhale, head down, deep breath in. Exhale. Stay deep into your curled spine, roll back. Exhale, head down, three more counts. Exhale, deep breath in. Roll away, move your pelvis, open your back, deep breath in, exhale down. Last one. Inhale, roll back, and head down. Bend your knees, take your right knee towards your chest, open your ankle weight, knee towards your, uh, knee towards your chest, lengthen the opposite leg away, continue to open your lumbar spine, extend your leg up and flex and point. Last one, circle, one, two, three, exhale. Now we're going to twist the spine, pull the abs up, twist the spine to move the leg across. Inhale, circle around. So we wanna take advantage of our opened lower back so we can find more abdominal contraction. Last one, reverse, pick your hips. Two more, last one, exhale, knee towards your chest, slide your leg in, I'm gonna be lazy <laughs> until I can't anymore, I have to get up, all right. Okay, so let right foot anchor down, lower down, bring your knee towards your chest, keep your beautiful length of your lumbar spine, extend your leg up, flex and point. And then arms by your side, twist your spine to send your leg across, exhale. Two more. 
last breath, reverse. You want to keep that connection of your abs to move your spine and then your legs. Last one. Bend your knee towards your chest. Come up to sitting. Remove your ankle weight. This is going to bother me here. We're going to do rolling like a ball. Place your hands next to your pelvis. Lift your tummy in and up and come as close as you can towards your heels. Um, okay, we want a capital C and we want, a, but also a length in the lower back. So as you pick your feet up, be mindful that you don't collapse your back for your capital C, but instead lift your abs and lift your elbows so the capital C is long. It's not a small C. Okay, squeeze your heels together. Inhale, stomach in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Keep that curl forward and back. Two more counts. Last one. Plant your feet down, hands by your pelvis. Breathe in, roll down. Lower down on your spine for stomach series. Bring your right knee towards your chest, right hand, right ankle. Elbows wide open, tummy up. Exhale, nod your chin to your throat. Remember to keep the spine long. Breathe in and in. Exhale. Inhale. See, I'm not going fast, but my goal is to keep engaging and lengthening my spine. Last one. Exhale. Both knees towards your chest. Double leg stretch. Inhale, arms back. Lengthen the legs. Tummy in. Exhale. Three more counts. Lengthen your spine as you lengthen the leg. Exhale. Last one. Head down, move the neck to the right, move the neck to the left, come back center, extend the legs up towards the ceiling, chin to throat, soften your abs down, hands at the back. Exhale. I don't know if you noticed, but whenever you lengthen your back, it's easier to increase your range. Last one. Hold the legs up. Twist to the right. Twist to the right. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. You're moving your spine together with your ribs. Last one. And lengthen away. This is your first little break. You can arch your back if you want to. And then make sure you lengthen your tummy as you lengthen your legs and arms. So everything is happening deep inside, not through your arch back. And then you miss the length of your thoracic spine and your legs. Circle your arms around, bend your knees with your chest, swing up to sitting. So pay attention to this cue because we will need it for open leg rock. Okay, so you're gonna stretch and then you're gonna lengthen your arms up towards the ceiling and feel yourself grounded down on, on your sitting bone. Then you grow, inhale, you lift the scoop tummy to lift your lower back. Exhale, bend your spine. Bend your spine. Bend your spine. Then you keep looking down and you lift your spine again. It's an imaginary wall. And you keep growing. Exhale. Feel how your abs are squeezing deep around your spine to even flush more the lower back. Inhale, we go up. And exhale. Push your abs really deep back into your spine and open your sacrum and lumbar spine. Inhale, come up. Last two. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Ah, 
and then grab your ankles, bend your knees, open leg rocker. So if you've been adding open leg rocker for the last few weeks, this is a continuation. And if you're ready, of course, rock back and forth with me because it will make you feel stronger. So you grab your ankles again. So like you're rolling like a ball, your spine is a capital C, therefore you're not collapsing your ribs on your back. You're lifting your spine tall, you're curling your tail, and you're softly gazing down. You inhale one leg, go forward, whoop, exhale down, breathe in. As you lift your legs, you gotta feel the crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Deep breath in. Last one. And lower your feet down. I'm gonna give myself some space. We're gonna try both legs and then rock. So, tummy up towards your spine. Think of a rocking chair. When the chair is rocking, everything is connected to each other, so it's a full swing, right? So we don't want the arms to hang. We don't want the ribs to collapse. We want to lift and breathe. Continue to inhale, exhale. So wait to holding your legs as you arrive. And then to find your abs to push you forward. Here's one more cue for you. Use your legs to use your hands to plug your legs in your hips so that you can lengthen your spine further. Last one. All right, knees bent. So quickly, you want to feel like uh, when you extend your leg, there's a wall behind you holding you. So you hold your abs in, and then those legs are plugging in. Of course, your crown of the head is reaching up towards the ceiling. Don't feel stressed. Pick one that you feel like, pick one image or one cue that feels right for you today. If trying to put everything doesn't work for you. Keep an open mind. Corkscrew. Lay down on your back. Arms by your side, tummy pulls up, extend your legs up towards the ceiling. You inhale, you circle, and then you exhale, back center. You inhale. I like having those fuzzies here. I'm thinking like my legs are not going to touch those fuzzies. Last one. And knees bent. Whew. Come up to sitting. You feel free to do your soul with knees bent if that feels right. Cross, whatever feels okay for you as you work on building your own connections. Arms by your side, reach up. With the crown of the head, grow tall, lift your sit bones up, twist your spine, exhale. Breathe in, nod your chin to your throat. Last set. and then come back center, arms down, shoulders rolls up and down. You know, I've been thinking about these African ladies with a long neck. Every time I find myself putting tensions on my shoulders, I try to think my neck is as long as them and my shoulders are melting down. I kind of feel a little like it works for me because I do bring my shoulders up my ears like that. Then when I sleep, so... Every time I catch myself, I let them go. Okay, for swan. The cue is you can try both legs together and you can try both legs apart. That depends on your tightness of your pelvis. 
go for it. But you need, of course, that's why we opened the lower back in the beginning, so we can have more of these, then that will make it easier to open the pelvis. Let's give it a try. So suppose your hips are tight, you can just drop down whatever you can. But you definitely have to pull a little bit up with your abs so that your pelvis can feel a little bit supported. Hands under your shoulders. So we'll, we definitely should do legs a little bit apart if your pelvis is so tight. Push into your hands, deep breath in, stand on your legs and thighs. Lift, grow. And definitely, I feel I get more range in my spine when I open my legs a little wider. Deep breath in. Push into the heels of the hands. Feel the spine stretching your abs. Exhale. Now let's go legs together. It doesn't have to be a V, it can be just the sole of the feet or the instep touching each other. Yeah, that definitely limits my range of motion in my spine. I feel a little bit more stiff. Last one. Legs apart a little bit for swan dive and go. Come on forward onto your side leg kick. Keeping the connection of your waistline, your abs supporting your spine. I'm going to bring the elbow here. Bring your legs a little bit back, not so much diagonal. And you're going to inhale. So the goal is to keep the abdominal up. So if this gives you that feeling, so your eyes are forward, your tummy up. One more breath. Last one. And we're going to lay down on the biceps. So you're going to raise your right leg up and lift the bottom leg. On every exhalation, you are squeezing your waistline, keeping your abs strong. One more breath. And lower your both legs down. Bring your head on top of your hand. Top leg up to hip height. Turn slightly out. Double kick forward. Exhale. Double kick forward. Four more counts. Oops, my legs were too far back. Last one. Bring your leg on top of each other, press down, lift your leg up in here. Reverse. Last one, and then lay down on your tummy, grasshopper. Forehead down, press your head onto your forehead on your hands, pull your tummy in and up, exhale, squeeze your abs, clap your legs together. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lower your legs down. Switch on the other side. Okay, your forearm down. 
your hips square, kind of like the way my pants are sitting on top of my pelvis. Lift up in. You're keeping your eyes forward so there's no strain in your shoulder and neck. And then go down on your bicep, bottom leg. Last one. And then head goes up. Tummy up towards your spine. Leg up, turn out. I lost my momentum. Flex forward, point back. Last one. And then back. Bring your leg on top of the bottom leg. Breathe in. Reverse. Flex. And release, lay down on your back. Teaser. Draw your sacrum really heavy on the mat and feel this lift in your abs as you inhale. And then as you exhale, wrap your spine with your abdominal muscle to push the air out. This is how you're going to connect and come up. Lengthen your abs, inhale, chin to throat, roll up, balance, eyes at the toes, exhale, contract the abs, and lower down. Deep breath in. And exhale. Two more counts. Lift nice and deep in your spine. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Woo. I'm going to do the swimming. If you're not yet there, you can do the Superman, Superwoman. So one leg is out in line with your spine. So watch that you're not dipping your back. Keep your abs in and lengthen the opposite arm forward. Exhale, come back. So you draw your abs in, eyes down. Think you have a pole, you're balancing a pole or gondola on top of your spine from head to sacrum. I'm going to do one more for those are, that are doing the Superman or Superwoman. Last one. And then exhale. So you go down onto your tummy for swimming. Same thing, kind of, but everything is longer. So you have long legs, straight long legs. Spine, tummy up. Exhale, everything goes up. And inhale. So you're basically doing this opening of your ribs, pulling your abs in. Exhaling, squeezing your abs around your spine. Last set. Whew. Okay, let's do seal. And I'm going to get up today without using the pole. I've been naughty too so i'm gonna give myself space so i'm able to do that bring your arms inside the legs grab the bottom of the heels so again we continue the curling of the spine without the collapsing of the thoracic spine all the ribs all falling into your lower back so the tummy pulls up is what gives you that length in your lower back one two and three inhale to fall back. Breathe in. One more time. One, two, three. Ready, cross. Whoa, almost. 
Let me know how your spine feels during the week whenever you're doing this exercise. Make sure you keep your spine long, continue to do your stretching, try to avoid sitting and collapsing your ribs down, um, avoid stiffness, whatever you can. Thank you so much for being here with me and I'll see you next week.